Hi guys, welcome back to Daniel's Tech World on uh, Medium on YouTube and now on DanielRosal.tech. So for today's video, what I want to, to take a look at and demonstrate quickly is uh, the process I'm using, have been using for the past uh, few months actually in order to get my newsletters at a Google group. Um, why do I want to do this? So if there's one thing uh, I can tell you about my, my several strange uh, eccentricities, in terms of the way I use the internet is I've always found newsletters particularly annoying and that's actually kind of completely unfair because what I mean to say about that is there is a trend and I'm surprised that it's legal but it is legal that anytime you so much as send a contact form to a website or order something you'll be opted into their newsletter uh, email marketing system now I don't know if it's just me or this speaks to you or a lot of people but I spend about five to 10 minutes per day, I would estimate maybe every every two days, unsubscribing from various newsletters, which I never subscribe to. And I find the whole thing kind of annoying. Now that doesn't mean that all email newsletters are bad. In fact, I think that there are many good email newsletters which I want to subscribe to. So the purpose of this creative uses for Google Groups as I have uh, described it here, um, is I try to create a little system for myself whereby my inbox and I'm just, jumped into here uh, Daniel Russo demo at gmail.com it's just a demonstration gmail that I set up for this uh, for the purpose of making this video so there's nothing really in there except for uh, these emails I sent myself for another medium post about uh, a way to defeat pixel tracking uh, pixel based email tracking so there's really nothing in here but you know if this is my actual inbox which I can see in my second screen over here to the right that's not being screencast uh, I can see a jumble of uh, newsletters which I unsubscribe to. Now, it's kind of hard to get around this completely um, because as I said, when you do uh, contact people or order stuff online or take other activities, it tends to happen that you will get signed up for newsletters. So there's not really much you can do about that. But one thing you can do is if you're creating accounts on the internet, um, let's just Google here, sign up for a free trial, is you can uh, create a give an accounts at thing for that. Now, if you are using uh, Gmail, so I use G Suite, which is G Suite is when you can use Google services, including its email, Google SaaS services on your own domain. If you are using just regular Gmail, and this clearly Daniel Rose demo is just a regular Gmail address, uh, there is a uh, there is a trick you can use, um, which would be, for instance. Uh, so I'm Daniel Rose Hill demo at gmail.com, but you can do add a plus symbol at the end and then add something. Newsletters, let's just say. Then what you can do is, and you can add anything there, just again, your Gmail, the plus symbol and and a uh, and an operator. Then what you could do is, uh, um, this is a new Gmail feature that I've just been acquainted with here. Uh, what you could do is, if you go into your filters um, and you can create a new filter and if it is sent to that special um, that special operator then you could pipe that into a folder you create a folder here called newsletters uh, or you know it could be uh, plus let's just see here Airbnb and you could create an Airbnb folder and uh, associate that you know email address with Airbnb and then whenever you get email about your Airbnb listing or stuff you're booking through Airbnb, it'll automatically write. So that's one thing. Now, before uh, before it's pointed out, I am aware that there are different uh, inboxes, and if you go in the inbox tab here in settings, there is an updates uh, and a forums and a promotions is typically the one that will catch your uh, your email your email newsletter. So I typically disable that. I like everything everything in one place. Now, what I want really is for all my actual email to be here not to be getting a bunch of newsletters and mass marketing material that's not actually personalized to me. Uh, so that's my rationale why I don't use these alternative inboxes. And what I do instead is I set up groups. Um, so this is just uh, groups.google.com and uh, you do need a Google, um, a Gmail address or a Google address or a G Suite address in order to access this. Um, but uh, let me just, this is just mirroring the process that I do in the G Suite version of Google Groups with my own domain. So I, do, I call it something like, uh, let's just call it Daniel Rosehill News. Whoops, Daniel Rosehill. I'm just gonna zoom in a bit here. 
newsletters and uh, I will say Daniel Rosell newsletters at googlegroups.com um, a newsletter collection group for my demo gmail account all right so I've just given it a description now the permissions are important um, if you have you do not really want people to uh, find your group because this is really something for internal use so I would change this if you're on Gmail to, to just all members not anyone on the internet now who do you want to um, post to the group this is very important it needs to be anyone on the web because the per the email address that's sending you a newsletter is going to be anybody there you wouldn't want to have uh, uh, for instance select group users or people that join the group you need anybody from any email address uh, in existence to be able to send stuff that'll get collected in this group so you need to actually add to the default permissions for the post settings in terms of viewing the topics um, all members there basically you're not you don't want anyone to be joining this group um, so by setting group visibility just to the members and not really adding anyone, you're kind of keeping it a bit hidden. Uh, and view topics, uh, you can just restrict it further, even though you can just restrict it all the way to owners because we're going to be the group owner and the only person accessing the group. So, you know, in general, you want to uh, elevate these permissions to the smallest degree possible um, while still providing the functionality. So just to reiterate, uh, I changed the posting permission, upgraded that to everybody and uh, group visibility. Uh, I set to only members so that people can't actually find this group. It is an email list and um, that's it. Uh, basically, I'm ready to create and uh, just remember the address here. We have one of these annoying captures to go through. Uh, that's a statue, that's a statue, that's a statue. Okay. So, Daniel Rosell newsletter is at. Uh, let's just check over here. Googlegroups.com. Sorry, I just. Because uh, I'm used to seeing my, my domain here. Um, so, basically, what I will do now, I'm just going to quickly. Daniel Rosell letters what you then want to do is um, to make sure the people who are not in the group uh, now if you go into permissions and uh, basic permissions if you are in uh, G Suite uh, now this is the, the Gmail version you'll have a little box here at the bottom uh, saying allowing uh, you need to add people uh, sender people who are not a member of the G Suite organization to post even though you already set the permission that uh, anyone on the web can post there is an additional box here for allow people not in your G Suite domain uh, so you might want to tick that as well if you want to be able to uh, access the inbox from uh, you know from something other than this primary Google account so I'm just gonna sign up for something random um, on the internet in order to demonstrate um, but let's just jump back quickly before we do that to the groups homepage. Click on my groups, and there is one more thing that we need to do. If we can find it, um, groups is a bit buggy. There is like two different types of group UI in existence. Um, but uh, okay, we have it now anyway. So you want to go. This is the default setting: is that uh, you will get. You you can actually go for every message or you can bundle it into uh, 25 messages per email. Now, if you're setting this up for accounts, for getting account confirmation, then uh, if you don't receive it, then you're gonna have to like go into it every time, okay? Just something worth pointing out because I've used this for account signups as well. But what I would do, what I do do uh, for the newsletters is I go for don't send email updates. Now, this means that I will not be getting um, I will not be getting emails. Uh, I will not be receiving these in my inbox, which is the whole purpose of this exercise. Then what I do is I click into the um, you know the actual group itself. Uh, you don't need to really bother with this stuff because you're not going to be actually using it as a group. And then the all important step, and I'm just gonna uh, I'm gonna fuse my other keyboard here. Uh, oh, I'm using this as a guest account. Okay, you would want to bookmark this, uh, essentially. The URL here is very important. That's where you're gonna be able to actually see things. So what I will do is I'll just keep it open as we don't have a bookmarks bar in this guest uh, Chrome over here. 
Um, now, sign, just do sign up for a random service. I just clicked sign up for free trial, and uh, I'm doing this because they're obviously all going to send a confirmation email. And uh, I'm just going to quickly Daniel Rosal. I'm going to. I spelled my name wrong again somehow. Or did I? No. I'm just going to copy in our group address and just ch choose a. gonna choose writing a password here with a few numbers and uh, this and uh, sign up hopefully the password will be good enough okay so I'm just gonna get through all this stuff over here quickly and uh, just me this is all fine okay so I've just signed up for nutshell and uh, what I can now do and I'm on a 14 day free trial so this can be predicted to generate some kind of email correspondence. Usually there'll be a verification check and let me just refresh over here. No messages so far. I'm just, I'm just gonna pause the video for one second. Okay, just unpause the video. So what I actually did, the first one uh, was a particularly bad example because it didn't actually send any email. Uh, so what I did instead was I uh, searched for the first uh, thing I could find for sign up for newsletter. Healthline have a newsletter, this COVID-19 update, and I click subscribe. And uh, what's happened now is, as you can see, the uh, email it sent me uh, welcoming me to their newsletter, and we can go into it. Um, it's actually arrives into this collector address over here. And um, as you can see, the newsletter is, and just to confirm, because I uh, took away that permission, and I've just changed it into the new Google Groups interface over here. Um, I did, you just get this automatic email when you create a group, but I did not receive that, um, that uh, the you know the welcome message to the newsletter, and also any further, uh, all the this newsletter itself, the the additions that they send out, it's not going to touch my inbox. It's just going to come straight to this group, to this uh, newsletters group. So that's basically it. Um, and what I would do then is uh, just download, you know, I would bookmark this URL and uh, give it something, give it a bookmark name that you can easily remember. Um, and that's it and then you can just check this you know once a week and your inbox can be your inbox and free of any uh, you know free of any mass communications because as I said that's really my objective here so thank you for watching um, if you have uh, any questions on uh, on this video um, or just like to get in touch my website is danielrosil.c that's two L's in Rosal by the way dot co dot il thanks for watching